gentlemen. Oh, my goodness, you know, it doesn't seem possible. But as you all know, we're coming close to another election season. And of course, interest in politics is once again at fever pitch. Well, tonight we're honored by the presence of a most distinguished political figure in one of his all too frequent public appearances. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to introduce to you now one of the finest politicians that money can buy, the distinguished Senator Philip Buster. <laughs> how pleasant it is to have you here. Thank you, my dear, and may I say how pleasant it is to be had. Well, now, <laughs> Senator, I have a few questions here that have come from these very nice ladies and gentlemen in the audience. Fine. And the first one comes from Alice Blaylock of Azusa, California. Where are you, Miss Blaylock? Bless your heart, there she is right back yes. there. Yes, what and Miss Blaylock want wants to know, do you approve of the Medicare program? I never watch it. <laughs> I do <laughs> I, uh, I'll tell you this, in about eight more years, I'm going to need it, but I, uh, I haven't gotten with it at all. Thank you, Miss Blaylock. Well, now, the second question is from Janet uh, Frankhauser of Sterling, Ohio. Where are you, Janet? Right over there. Nice to have you with us. And Janet asks, what do you think of long-haired boys? I usually think they're long-haired girls, to tell you <laughs> Larry Dean asked the next question. And Where Larry... are you, Larry Dean? There he is over there in the red sweater. Nice to see you. And Larry is from Hacienda Heights, California. I got high and... in Hacienda one time. <laughs> <laughs> and Larry says, what do you think of the hippie invasion? Well, I'll tell you this. I'm getting a little hippier myself. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the actual hippies. Well, uh, I must say that I think the hippies do know where it's at. Oh? Yes, I think they do. <laughs> But uh, with all that hair in her eyes, you ain't never going to see it, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. Tina Marie Logan of Hollywood. That's asks, a cute name. Where are you, Tina Marie? I want to see it. Can we get a picture of these little people? Stand up, bless your heart, back there. I want the people at home to know how it is out here. Thank She's you. a cute-looking young lady, too. What do you and care? She wants, <laughs> she wants to know, what do you do in your spare time? Meet me in the parking lot, sister. <laughs> Parking lot. Now, um, Mrs. Rita. I'm going to park you in the meeting lot. Oh. <laughs> now, Mrs. Rita Delagio wants to know how long have you been in the Senate? I have been in the Senate for 14 years, Miss Meadow. Hmm. And before that, how long were you in the House? Well, I was in the big house for three and a half years. <laughs> no, it was no. a bum rap, my friends, a bum rap. Well, I certainly hope so. Now, let me ask you, uh, yes. Senator, do you know where the polls have Lyndon Johnson? Uh, well, let me ask you if you know where the Cubans have Xavier Cougat. <laughs> I think that's a fair question. Would you tell me what you feel about public works? I say if the public works, that's their hang-up, sister. I can't worry about everybody. But I'll tell you this, my friends, I'm sick and tired of the feather bedding on the relief rolls. We shouldn't be rolling around in them feather beds anyway when there's work to do. I say it's time we mobilize the economy so that free men everywhere can get a government job and have a piece of the action. Do I have your support? Yeah. Senator, if you don't mind, I should like well, to I change the subject. What brings you to town at this time? A 57 Chevy. <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, why are you here? Oh! Why is my hand up? I don't know. I, am, I often wonder why I'm here, but all seriousness aside, my dear, I am here to officiate at a very important function, honoring the man who has just won the annual Heroism Award, Mr. A.C. Thomas. Oh, isn't that interesting? Well, tell us about him. I'll be very glad to. This city, my friends, can be very proud of this fine man. Last Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. A.C. Thomas, while working on a high-tension wire, received a shock of 40,000 volts. Why, how terrible. What happened? Well, Mr. A.C. Thomas is now Mr. D.C. Thomas. <laughs> Senator, Senator, well... Senator, here's another question. Yes. <laughs> oh, The thing is, folks, this is the real part. I mean, since I got her head fell off. Senator, 
try to control yourself, would you please? Yes, sure, no. I'm trying to control. <laughs> Senator, be serious for a moment. What are your views on the population explosion? I think, my friends, that's the only way we're going to control the population. What do you mean? What a big explosion. That's <laughs> right. But I discussed this question, frankly, with some embarrassment, because I myself am the proud father of 18 children. Eighteen children? You don't mean it. Well, a couple of times I didn't, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> the thing is, they're here and we love them and they're wonderful young people. Actually, matter, as a matter of fact, my dear, at this very moment, I'm glad to tell you, my wife is on her way to the hospital. We're going to have still another baby. Oh, isn't that wonderful? But you don't mean to say that you've let her go to the hospital all by herself. Listen, sister, if she can't find her way to that joint by now, she'll never make it. Oh, <laughs> 